it seems there is a race between people and companies to extend the context length of llama 3 8 billion model the original llama 3 8 billion model comes with 8k context but already we have seen that few of the companies and people have extended the context length to even 1 million yesterday i shared with you this video where i showed you how to locally install this llama 3 8 billion gradient instruct which comes with 1 million context window which is huge and i also shared with you another video where i go into way more detail in very very simple words as how context length of llm is increased by the way by these companies internally by adjusting rope theta so let me give you a very quick overview of this process and then in this video i will show you uh, how you can test out these context, larger context windows and we will try it out from a few of the text free textbooks from project gutenberg now llms have a context length of 4k tokens 8k tokens and similar uh, when they come out of the shop the context length of these llms can be extending using rotary position embedding or rope by modifying the base frequency and scaling the attention logits Position interpolation or PI is another method used to extend the context windows of these LLMs by linearly downscaling the input position indexes. Rope or rotary position embedding is used more frequently in NLP to extend the context length of LLMs beyond the typical limit of 4K or 8K. It was introduced in a paper in 2021 by the way. Rope addresses the limitation of traditional position embeddings which are learned fixed vectors that represent each position in the input sequence these embeddings are typically learned during training and are fixed in size limiting the model's ability to process long input sequences rope introduces a new rotary position embedding scheme that uses a rotary encoding scheme to represent position as a continuous signal as was used in this gradient paper and you can read through more about it also one interesting thing is that it is uh, it uses position encoding which is a mechanism to combine the rotary embeddings to represent each position in the input sequence so if you want to do tasks like long form text generation document level machine translation question answering and reading comprehension then this is your friend and in this video i will show you one of the really good book from joser which was an english writer i uh, think around 1300s and 1400s and he actually transformed the english literature he made english language english language from the tongue and it's a very interesting history by the way which is not the topic of this video but chaucer is really sort of a father of english language or english literature so i have um, i'll be using this textbook from chaucer which is Canterbury Tales, so very very interesting book, I mean if you're into the English literature. So I'll be copying some of the text here and then I will just be throwing it in uh, LLM's face and then I'll ask it to uh, maybe summarize it and just process it to see if it works or not. I have one GPU card on this local system with 16 GB of VRAM and my memory is 32 GB. So let's see. I have already installed it. If you don't know how to install this, then I would suggest you watch out my other video. All you need to do, by the way, is to launch LM Studio. Just type Llama 38 billion gradient there and it will load. Or if you want to test any other fine tuned um, version with longer context length, you can download it from here. By the way, one word is that this is not a full model, this is just a context one. So we expect the a performance degradation and it might not be as performant as the full model and th this is the file the size is just around 6 gig for this model just click on these three dots model is already loaded and i have i'm using pruna ai's gradient um, context one now so i have the model ready here so let me grab uh, let's first ask it to write a story baby so i'll ask it write me a story about um, an immigrant in a new country trying his luck and his struggles 
made the story emotional empathetic and realistic let's see there you go i'll let it run and you will see that it will just dominate it because i won't be able to read this story but look at the story generation this is what long context is that you know for the 4k 8k they will just stop but this will go on and on and on and on the name is Kofi by the for the immigrant you see how good this model story writing is let me pause it a bit and then i'll let it run and then i will just show it again so it is still running and sometime it just prints few letters uh, randomly but then it just back goes back to it but you see it will go on and on and on uh, you ha would have to stop it otherwise it is going to fill up your gpu memory and starts uh, hallucinating or something so i'll just stop generating so you see that you can write full books full novels with these sort of things i mean one million token is not a small thing i think you can uh, throw in lot of books together in it and it is it should be able to cater to it now because uh, i'm using a commodity gpu so i would suggest that after each turn you simply delete the chat in lm studio and then reload the model otherwise it will um, just become very slow and might hallucinate and also offload the layers to gpu like i did so let's load the model and then i'm going to throw that gutenberg book in it so it is loaded let me go here i'll just grab everything maybe not the preface okay life of the life of chaucer i think let's grab everything here now the one problem is that i'm not sure if lm studio would be able to grab this but of course if you are doing rag and let's suppose you have converted this book into you have chunked it you have converted it into numerical representation or vector or embedding you have thrown it into your vector database and from there um, or you can just simply embed it in the prompt and throw it into your model model should instead of doing rag or all of that stuff model should be able to keep the context so you see I have put on everything there so i'm not sure what is this you see so yeah so mo model doesn't recognize uh, so lm studio doesn't recognize it but i'll see i'll just say summer okay maybe i'll just not here sorry i'll just say summarize the following let's see if it is able to do that Let's press enter here. So I think because of the con you know the LM Studios, it is unable to do that. We tried, but I think due to LM Studios uh, uh, limitation, it won't be able to <clears throat> take all of that prompt here. But we already saw that you know when we it can do the long form text generation easily. So maybe uh, if you have an, any proper rag tool or proper um, tool or your own custom code where you will put all of this text and then point your llm to it llm should be able to just grab all of it but unfortunately that cannot be done in here in lm studio because of the tools limitation anyway if you are after rag or such tools i have like heaps of videos on the channel go through them and let me know how you go but all in all really really good stuff so instead of um that you can simply grab some of the stuff and you can ask it and this model is quite good llama 3 8 billion is quite good by the way so you can just simply grab this and then <clears throat> you can just say um summarize the following and then you can paste it here and then click enter so you see this time it is able to do that and it is going on and on and on about jeffrey Chaucer. And because of you know uh, the LM Studio and my GPU card's limitation, it is just again repeating this stuff. But otherwise, it was able to get the source, get the abstract, and it was able to do it. And remember, this is a quantized version. So this is how you can uh, test it out. But the point is that all of these 
fine tuned models they are really really good when you need it for long form context and for ragging that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it um, if you have any other test in mind let me know i'll, I'll be happy to uh, to test it out i'll uh, drop the link to this gradient model in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching